Hello everybody, how is it going? I'm Lucas and guys, I am so excited because today we're going to be checking out a brand new compressor or compressors I should say from Get Good Drums called Smash and Grab. So the whole concept behind Smash and Grab is that you kind of have two sets of compressors composed into one plugin. So you have the grab side which is red as you can see here and you have the smash side which is blue. They both kind of um, can kind of be used for different things but you can kind of use them on any drum that you want. So the smash side, this one is going to be based on some FET style compressors, some FET type compressors and this is to give you drums length and you can put it on snares, you can put it on rooms, you can put it on your parallel bus. And then the grab side which is going to be based on some VCA style compressors, GGD recommends that you can stick this on the um, kick, tom kick toms or the overheads. You can honestly put either one on whatever you see fit. Those are just kind of some rough guidelines. And the way it works is, as you can see, I got it here in my kick. You turn the little drum type knob. You set that to um, the drum that you're working on. I got that set to kick. You can do normal or extreme type of compression. You can do normal, soft, or hard. But basically, I'm going to play around with the settings. So basically, if you know if you want to clamp down harder, you can do extreme. Um, and then different knobs, you got the mix, that's how much of the compressor you're actually feeding into the actual mix that's coming out. You got the saturation knob. So the air and beef knobs, the beef knob, this is not real beef, guys. This is just what beef means, is it just means base. Uh, so if you know if you don't like to eat meat, it's okay, you can still use the beef knob. So the beef knob is mainly concerned in bass. As you can see, I cut, I actually cut a little bit on my kick drum. Uh, the air, that's to kind of open things up. It's kind of toward the upper end of the EQ range, like to like 12k, 15k in that range up there. It gives stuff a nice little shine. Uh, the threshold, how much you're actually clamping down, how much you're actually pushing on, like, you know, threshold control in any normal compressor. Uh, and you have output and input, output and input knobs, like on most compressor, how much you feed it, uh, how much is actually going out. And then up here, you actually have a um, an expand button that you can click right here. You can put the compressor to a side chain if you want. Uh, you, can, you can do that. I didn't actually use that feature, but it is pretty cool to have. So um, let's, um, I'm going to let you hear the whole drum kit. I have it, as you can see here, I have it on each individual bus right here. Um, I'm going to let you hear it and I'll go down and break down what I did on each one. Alright, as you can hear, the compressor is doing a lot um, whenever you have it on the kick. So, um, I'm going to put the loop, loop play on right here and I'm gonna mess around with it a little bit let you hear what each knob does kind of give you a, an example I actually really really like it on the kick. I find um, the compressor that I was using before it kind of choked it. It choked the kick out a little bit and it made it kind of sound um, a little darker for my taste. I mean I kind of made it up on the EQ but the thing I love about this this smash and grab so much is that all you have to do is I don't want to say it's easy mode but you literally slap it on you pick the drum you want and you just go to town turning the knobs and it, and it sounds great like it's totally transformed my drum sound which I didn't expect it I didn't expect it to do that and it came at a good time because during um, during Black Friday I was really considering um, buying a new um, parallel drum compressor because I've been kind of wanted to try something new and I really came close to it, but I'm so glad that I didn't because GGD came out with this and it, it, it it's opened up my drum sound like I said and it sounds really amazing um, as far as us on the kick, I'm using a Hammer DSP for my EQ, and I'm using the uh, Slate Virtual Tape right there. That's really all that I'm doing. Um, the actual kit that I'm using, I'm using uh, GGD Modern and Massive, and this is the kit that I put together. I just picked some drums and some cymbals. I call it Lucas's kit that I saw it sounded good. Uh, the song that we're using it on is um, it's a Lover Man from my EP called Spice. So let's move on to the uh, toms really quick. 
Let me find a spot here that you can actually hear the toms. My tom bus is actually pretty simple. I actually just have smash and grab on it. Um, I typically would use a limiter in the past. I kind of, I haven't really been using it all that much and I just decided to just throw grab on it and um, it sounds great. I uh, messed with the input and output on here a little bit. Um, I put a little bit of beef, a little bit of air. I, the saturation knob I use gently as I go along because it, it can get out of control if you use it a lot. That's like. And then uh, I just got to set on toms and I'll put it on hard here because I really kind of wanted to control what the toms are doing. I kind of wanted to clamp down and I didn't want the base of the low end to get, uh, get all crazy. Got a little bit of beef on it. Um, I didn't side chain it. Here I got a guy that makes the full way. Um, let me let, let you hear what it sounds like with it off. Find that keeps things um, nice and controlled. Absolutely, um, it's just great to put it on, set it, and like like you just going through here. It's just when you slap it on, the thing that's so cool about it is just it's so easy. I mean, I mean, yeah, other compressors they can do what it does, and you have to work a little more. But you know, if you if if you're really into speed mixing, you know, you're trying to hurry up and get your mix done quick, this is definitely the way to go. And uh, on snare, everyone's favorite drum. I use the FET type for the snare. Uh, basically what I did now this the snare is actually um, is very interesting because uh, I kind of really didn't touch it very much um, I got on tape normal um, I didn't put I didn't put really any saturation air and beef are straight up at five little you know the threshold is uh, right there clamped down a level and that's it that is literally all I did to it and what I used to do with my snare was I used to run two tapes I used to because I'm crazy I used to run two tapes on it and half the time I didn't even run a compressor but now this is this is all I need it made me so what it did was it actually helped me take plugins off of my chain which is awesome let me um let me let you hear it uh soloed let me um get some loop play going again It's so super easy and it makes a snare before before I started using it it um, my snare I, I kind of I over compressed stuff that's what I'm figuring out I over compressed it and it was kind of choked off sounding it was a little dark sounding but um, now, now I find with smash and grab it just makes things sound it makes things sound so much more open it's it's like it's I know I keep coming back to this but it's just so it's so effortless whenever you're using this. So as you can see, I used grab on here for my overheads. I took the output down a little bit because I found them a little bit loud. Uh, I put a, I actually turned the air down a little bit because the cymbals were a little bit bright, so I just choked them back a little bit. Uh, took backed it off of the mix. Got tape normal. Put it on overheads. And <laughs> like I said, it's it's almost like easy mode. It's insane. Really like how it controls the overheads. Um, I did put it on my spot cymbals. Uh, spot cymbals are if it's that's the mics that are directly on the cymbals themselves. Um, sometimes you have spot cymbals mixes. A lot of other times you don't. You know, the issue is the overheads of the rooms. I put the Fed style compressor on here. Put it on the room. I just turned the output down a little bit. That's that's really it. I didn't mess with it all that much. Uh, and then this is the only compressor that I have on here. Just this. I don't know if you can kind of tell through much of there. It depends. Uh, the hat will come through the spots. The way I have it routed, the hats will come through the spots. Uh, or the spot symbols are mainly just extra. They're kind of just mainly just for splash. So that's why I didn't mess with it that much. I just kind of put it on to give it some nice control. Now let's move on to the rooms. Uh, rooms can be very powerful whenever you're doing a drum mix, but if you're not careful, things can get crazy and things can sound. Uh, nasty. Let's, uh, let's see what it sounds like here on the rooms. When it comes to saturation on the rooms, I go very easy with it because sometimes 
Uh, if you're not careful, which I've done this in the past, you can overcook overcook your symbols in your rooms, and, and it, it doesn't sound very good. Oh, let's enough talking. Let me actually listen. Let's just do it. I do also have virtual mix rack on here. I have a little bit of saturation on here and I have a little bit of the revival going on here. But uh, that's really it. I mean, as far as compression goes, uh, as you heard, Smash and Grab is the only thing I have on there and it replaced the compressor that I used to um, have on it before. Let me let you hear that um, in the full drum mix. Yeah, as you can hear, you heard it right there. It, uh, if you take it off, a lot of the bottom drops out of it. Now, last and not least, the whole reason I was looking for another compressor, like I was saying, was for my uh, for my parallel drum bus. I was the ones I was using before. I kind of really wasn't happy with, and lo and behold, I was gonna get a FET style compressor, but GGD gave me six new ones in here. Uh, I have, have this set to smash. I lowered the output. Uh, for my drum bus, mainly what I do is I try and um, I'm cooking it. You know, I'm trying to smash it. Just, so that way when I put it up against my whole drum mix, it sounds really, it reinforces it and it gives it a lot of punch. I took a little bit of air out of it because it was um, it was a little a little bit bright. It was wasn't trying to get it too bright. Left the full mix in. And I cooked the input, put the input up a little bit and dropped the output a little bit. Left it on normal and I left it on um, tape. That, that's it. Like, I'm just throwing them on. This is what amazed me about it is I'm throwing them on here. I'm making a couple of moves and it sounds it sounds great without me really even touching it all that much. Just get a listen to it. Um, I'm a solo drum bus by itself. And now I'm gonna let you hear it um, unsoloed and I'm gonna take the compressor on and off. I definitely do love this plugin. Like I said before, of going back and listening to my old drum mixes, and my old drum mixes were over compressed. They were like uh, just smashed. They didn't sound very open, I guess you could say. But I know this sounds really silly, but a compressor helped me not compress my drums as much. Now uh, the drums sound nice and open, uh, they sound full. Uh, and the cool thing about this is you get two sets you get you get like 12 compressors yeah one two three four five six yes you get 12 compressors between smash and grab and one plug in uh, the controls are super easy i like the plug in a lot it's doing a lot for me and um if i mean you can use you can use this on other things if you want i mean you don't have to specifically use it for drum that's what it's made for if you want to do it on vocals and you know synth you know use the saturation up you can definitely do that overall I think it's great. So, what do you think about smash and grab? Does it smash you? Does it grab you in your heart? Look, if you like this video, don't forget to smash like button or, you know, you want to see some more stuff like this, don't forget to grab yourself. I sub to the channel. All right, guys, that is it for me. I hope you enjoyed this. I'm going to have to be out. Peace.